This is part three of our insane custom showcase from all different pockets of our community. Massive collab. It's an insane collab. Part one started with a showcase of all of the different HCS armors that we trunk down into mega form mm -hmm. using a load of different custom creators. And last episode, we had a look at Buster's work. In this episode, we are going to be looking at Riot Customs. Mm -hmm. An absolutely outstanding community member. Been really enjoying seeing his work mm -hmm. evolve over the last couple of years. And without further ado, let's check out some of his incredible customs. Welcome back everybody. In the previous episode we had a look at Buster and I, I gotta just I gotta show this off one more time. It's like, so pretty. Oh my goodness. The visor. Again that was one yeah. thing. The visor. Mm. Yeah chef's kiss. So check out Buster's video last time. Today we're looking at the one the only Riot. Now he produced these two figures for the Halo Championship Series final. If you'd like to see more details on them check out part one. Today he sent us four figures and a mystery figure which I I just have to show off first because this is chunky boy. Chunky. <laughs> this is a chunky monkey. Like, dude, uh, what? I, I just just for uh, just for comparison here. <laughs> like, it's so like, good. What are you talking about? Is this a so it's a cabal, right? We're thinking it's a cabal and a hunter mix mm. for just the base figure parts. But and really, I mean, who it. knows? <laughs> I don't even know. It's like, I, it's absolutely I don't know. It, it, it's honestly flawed me because obviously these customs are outrageous. So they're so insanely talented. But this one, I just laughed when I saw it. I'm like, this is outrageous. This is like, how do you make this? Um, wow. And there's some really fun little details. He really went out of his way. So that's a removal oh. magnet piece in the center. What? What? I don't know what else is made, and I have, I'm not trying to pull anything oh, else off. Oh my goodness! But yeah, so it, it, it's got some cool, cool. Play and there's features. a lot of green stuff, a lot of molding. Damn! And then this gravity the, hammer. The right? Extendo hammer. Extendo hammer. So just a comparison: a normal hammer looks like that. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that is a okay. fantastic way he did it yeah, too. Yeah, well done. Very nice. Did he? He just he just got two of them, right? Just I believe like, so. Slapped two together. Yeah, I mean it's the logical play. Um, wow. So this this deserves a showcase of its own. Absolutely incredible. Well done. But now we're gonna look at these four figures. So I know the one that's obviously standing out to everyone. We have to talk about the Silent Shadow. This is an LS 3D print, and he was telling us this morning. You know, he's staying in the Airbnb with us for a week. Mm -hmm. He was telling us this morning that this was one of the most difficult things he's ever made because a lot of the time you can take game files and you can modify them you can like smooth them off and add your own blemishes or you can mold things from scratch which is a lot of what ls does but this one he's molding it from scratch and all he has to go off is a few comic book panels literally like, there's no actual assets of the silent shadow to like compare with because at least you could download the game file and you could you could look at it as you're molding your own mm -hmm. as just a direct point-to-point -point reference but with this it's literally just like only had 10 hunters. images of it. Yeah, only mm -hmm. headhunters. Yeah, uh, and I think there's like one 343 image they released or like there's the Hunters in the Dark or something mm -hmm. like that. There's a silent shadow somewhere along the line. More than anything with this figure, the way that he's painted this visor, it's so it so... seems like the glow is like leaking out of the helmet, like it's radiating out. That is a skill level, like a, 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 an attention to detail that really, you have to understand like, lighting and and reflections and like really how things should look it's not just about painting the armor as it would appear you know you put some scuff on it mm -hmm. this is understanding light and that is a whole different skill set right so big shout out to that apparently ls has been making ones that have removable helmets now did he say i think this one uh, technically this one, is oh, but it's glued but yeah it's glued. i think it's glued, at least yeah. we think for, We're for, not... the, for the for the best I, yeah know, comes with this random red energy sword the metallic wash on this he's put like a mm. glorious gloss or all the like all the way over it and uh, it's so menacing and look at the extended arms as well just it's, wild it's a quality figure to say the least yeah absolutely wild um we were thinking they might have been custom makia legs but maybe they're mcx official legs we're not sure we'd have to uh you know root back around oh well no no the toes the toes definitely uh, the toes are, are yeah. definitely they might be custom makia we're not sure but this is so menacing i love it we got a bullfrog uh, him last, I'm sorry, he's he's a little special. He's got some oh, okay, details okay. we gotta we'll talk do, about. We'll do that last. We got two grunts here. A grunt mule, well, mule. Victor the grunt. Victor the grunt. And Billy the Hi, grunt. Hi, Victor. Yeah, Victor and Billy uh, out on the park, having a lovely day. What, what What is that? A disruptor. 3D printed, gorgeous. You may, uh, on on you know first first viewing, think, well, they're just some random grunts. The head is a brand new mold, of course. One solid piece, which goes a long way. But then, look at the arms. Absolutely incredible. Yeah, I mean, it's just that little bit more that adds 
a lot to a this lot movie. of character. Like when you bend the arms like that, so much more emotion to each of the mm -hmm. figures. Look at him; he's just like he's cleaning his gun. I, I love Victor the Gun so much. He's so good, Victor. Right, <coughs> Are you all right? Victor. So I think uh, Victor has a special prize on his back there. Mm -hmm. Let's take a quick peek at that. Yeah, love that. Absolutely love gorgeous. The, the and you should stripes. You should yeah. pop that out real quick. And check this out. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh my goodness. That is crazy. So we're gonna leave, uh, if I remember at least, we're gonna leave details on these magnets and where you can buy them on Amazon down below. And then you just need a simple Dremel tool to add them yourself with some glue. Always be careful and ask for a parent's help if you need it. That's just crazy. And the way that he's hidden the magnet there- Is so good. Is so good. You would not be able to tell. And yeah, I, I now realize what this, what's gonna happen here. Yeah, okay. Okay, <laughs> fine. You know what, I, 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 Oh, and oh, you think that's goodness. the end of the magnets? Is it not the end it's of the magnets? It's not the end of the magnets. Let's take a peek. Oh, the, ma oh, the magnum? No, the little pouch. Jeez Louise, I'll tell you what. We got these like super articulation grunts, hyper articulation grunts. We got a silent shadow that has this visor that is just unreal. A magnetic <laughs> jump pack and rocket launcher. And then we've got this. Like, absolutely crazy. Uh, so, massive shout out to Riot Customs. What an incredible showcase. This Reach ODST, it has a version two helmet from LS3D Prints store, as well as the Mark V jetpack, also available on his store. We've got the utility grade satchels, an XRA utility belt, cut up custom Gungnir knee pads, and that's all available on LS3D Prints store. So, big shout out to Riot Customs. You have produced some outrageous work Wild. here and join us next time for something way more grotesque this was another video with the domain and the silent shadow is signing off